Many parts require more than one process or machining setups to fully manufacture them. This complexity leads to increases in the difficulty and greater potential for increasing the time needed for CAM programming. The setup workflow in PowerML 2023 has had multiple enhancements, giving you more predictable behavior, increased automation, and greater flexibility when programming multiple setups. Looking at this part, which requires two different setups, we can see these enhancements to the setup workflow. To start, workplane behavior has had three changes. The first being to the setup workplane. Previously, when you activated a setup, the assigned workplane was not automatically activated. This has been updated so that when you activate a setup, its workplane does as well, allowing you to quickly identify which plane is being used. Next is to the toolpath workplane. Previously, when you created a new toolpath with the setup active, the setup workplane was automatically assigned, overriding the currently active one, causing you to reselect the correct workplane in the toolpath form. This behavior is now changed so that the current active workplane is applied to the settings when creating a new toolpath. Last is to the creation of NC programs. When creating a program from a setup, the output workplane is now automatically set to the workplane that has been assigned to the setup, reducing the opportunity for errors in generating NC code from the incorrect workplane. Opening the setup form, you can see two additional enhancement features, as there are now options for the machine tool and default thickness for each setup. Let's first review the machine tool selection, where the ability to select the machine and the model location can be added for each setup. This is incredibly useful, as it simplifies the process when simulating multiple setups on one or even more machine tools, as is done here where we're using different machines for operation one and two. As you can see, each time the setup is activated, PowerMill automatically displays the associated model and machine tool. If we then activate a different setup, we can see the PowerMill updates the display once more. Additionally, these are automatically set in the NC form as well when creating a program from a setup. This removes the need to manually reactivate key elements and resulting in a more logical workflow to help reduce the likelihood of error. Next is the default thickness. While this functionality is not new, the ability to have defaults independently assigned to each setup is. This simplifies your thickness form management as previously thickness defaults were assigned globally to the entire project or to each individual toolpath. Opening the thickness form and activating setup op1. We can see that the thickness form contains 10 surfaces that have been set to ignore. If we create a new toolpath with this setup active, it will inherit these thickness settings without the need for us to manually define them again. If we activate OP2, we can see it uses different thickness values. Again, if we created a new toolpath with this setup active, it would automatically use those thickness values. With these enhancements to setups in PowerML 2023, the workflow needed to program parts requiring multiple operations has been simplified shortening the time needed for the CAM programming step of your manufacturing process. Leading in and out of a toolpath is a crucial part of successful machining. When done incorrectly, the surface finish can be affected, or worse, tool breakage can occur. To allow leads to be applied in areas where geometry interferes, Autodesk PowerMill 2023 now has the option to automatically trim toolpath segments. Let's look at two examples of how this feature can be used to resolve issues. This first example is a mold cavity, where we've isolated an area to be machined with a raster strategy. As we can see, the settings for lead in and lead out in our first toolpath have been set to a vertical arc with a three millimeter radius and a 45 degree angle to allow the tool to enter and exit the cut. Looking closer now at the toolpath, we can see a section which has the lead in and lead out applied. But in another section, these have not been applied at all. By attaching the tool to the toolpath segment, notice at the end of the segment, the tool is close to geometry, which in this case is a vertical wall, which does not allow enough room to apply the selected leads without gouging. As toolpaths are gouge checked during calculation, the only safe option is for power mill to not apply leads in these areas. We can try to resolve this by experimenting with other lead options, which may or may not give the desired result. 
or we could manually trim the toolpath back, creating the space needed for the leads to be applied using the toolpath editing. But this is likely to take a lot of time, and it's not an easy thing to get right. Thankfully, with this latest release of PowerMill, the trimming of the toolpath can now be automated using the new trim segments option. Let's activate this next toolpath, open its settings, and look at the leads and leaks section. Noticing that the trim segments option is checked on. Closing the form and reviewing the same area as before, we can now see the toolpath has automatically been trimmed to allow the space needed to safely apply the leads. The area that has been left unmachined due to the automatic trimming can be addressed using an additional toolpath such as corner finishing. In the second example, we are machining a fillet on the inside of a part where two holes intersect using a spherical tip cutter. Notice the first toolpath has a safety status icon that is red and could contain gouges or unsafe moves. As we did before, let's look at the leads and links in the settings. And we can see that a horizontal arc with a 3mm radius and a 45 degree angle has been set. Closing the form and reviewing the toolpath, we can see that these leads have not been applied. By attaching the tool, we can see as before there's not enough room for the leads. Additionally, if we simulate, you can see the tool retracts at the end of the segment, which happens to be through the part making it unsafe. When using the trim segment option, which has been used for the second toolpath, if the leads and links cannot be applied, then a systematic process is applied, attempting to use other lead options or trimming of the toolpath to try and rectify the issue. In this situation, a lead extension has been automatically applied and trimming has occurred, allowing for the tool to now safely retract. With this addition of automatic segment trimming to power mill, the likelihood of hazardous toolpaths being produced is greatly reduced. This saves time and reduces the need for manual toolpath checking and editing, giving you greater confidence in the safety of your NC machining code. Any improvement in your CAM programming efficiency can reduce the time it takes to get your parts on your machines, helping to increase the profitability of your projects. Which is why Autodesk PowerMill 2023 has undergone a number of performance improvements to speed up your part programming. In this tutorial, we will be looking at two different performance improvements. The first will look at curve projection toolpath calculation, and the second will look at the generation of a spun profile. In both examples, we will be making a side-by-side -side comparison between PowerMill 2023 and PowerMill 2022.1.1. In all instances, both versions will be run on the same Lenovo ThinkPad P71 workstation laptop, which has a quad-core Intel Xeon E3 processor, 64GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA Quadro P4000 graphics card. Starting with curve projection, this strategy has undergone a major update to the calculation algorithm to take advantage of multi-core and multi-threaded processors. And it is from this change that we see a significant improvement in overall calculation times. In this example, we will be looking at the simplest case of a curve projection toolpath, that being a straight line down the center of this bottle mold, which has overall stock dimensions of 330 mm in X, by 180 mm in Y, by 75 mm in Z. This toolpath also has the addition of a tool axis from another straight line curve offset in the Z direction. Here we have both versions of PowerMill, with version 2022.1.1 on the left and version 2023 on the right. In both cases we will access the toolpath settings form of the From Curve semi-finished toolpath in the G54 setup and simply hit the calculate button. Using the CPU utilization monitor in the task manager, we can see the difference, with PowerMill 2023 peaking at 100% usage. Notice how PowerMill 2023 finishes the same calculation much faster than PowerMill 2022.1.1. Summarizing the results, in this test we can see that PowerMill 2022.1.1 took 22.8 seconds to complete the calculation, whereas PowerMill 2023 took just 15.2 seconds, an improvement of 7.6 seconds, saving 33% overall. Moving on to the second example, 
the generation of spun profiles which are primarily for turning feature creation has been sped up too. In this example we will be looking at creating the spun profile needed for this mill turn part, which is 260mm long, with an overall outside diameter of approximately 180mm and an inside diameter of 95mm, with the stop material oversized to fit the whole component. Again we have both versions of Powermill now displayed, with version 2022.1.1 on the left and version 2023 on the right. Since we want to generate a spun profile from selected surfaces, in both cases we will hide the three jaw chuck clamps level and switch to the front view. The aim is to create a turned profile feature. So we will create our spun profile by accessing the curve editor through the feature editor. So we will right click on the OD turn feature group and select the feature editor option. As we want a turned profile, we will select that option from the toolbar and then select the create a spun profile button. In the spun profile dialog, we will change the mode to surface selection, drop the tolerance to 0.005 and then select all the part surfaces in the graphics window. We'll then hit the create button to generate the whole profile. Notice how much quicker Paramil 2023 calculates the profile when compared to Paramil 2022.1.1, letting us move on to curve editing and feature creation much quicker. Summarizing the results in this test, we can see that Paramil 2022.1.1 took 20.8 seconds to generate the profile, whereas Paramil 2023 took just 8.2 seconds an improvement of 12.6 seconds, saving 61% overall. This speed improvement greatly reduces the time it takes to derive curves for turning features. And with more updates like this, which speed up your part programming, Autodesk Paramount will help you get your parts on your machines even quicker. The shape of the toolpath can directly affect the surface finish and the visual appearance of the final machine product, causing you to spend additional time during the camp programming trying to create the right toolpath. Autodesk PowerMill 2023 now simplifies this process with the addition of the option to optimize open pockets when using the steep and shallow toolpath. Let's review this new option and see how it affects the shallow regions of a toolpath. In this example, we have a mold core, which has multiple areas which are shallow some of which could be accessed with a tool approaching from outside of these regions. Looking first to the toolpath, which has the original settings defined. We can see that the shallow regions have been isolated, and the outer edge has been used to create closed offsets for the toolpath pattern. While this is correct, and will machine without issues, approaching from the outside is likely to produce a better finish or visual appearance on the machine surface. Reviewing the settings for this next toolpath, we can see the new Optimize Open Pockets setting in the shallow options has been checked on. Looking now at the toolpath, we can see the difference. As before, the regions have been isolated, but now contains open passes that have fewer changes in direction than the previous toolpath, where the segments were all closed. This reduces the likelihood of dwell marks being left on the part, meaning better surface finish and less need for manual polishing or rework. This new option can also reduce full width cuts, meaning better tool life. Also note the lower area, which cannot be accessed from the outside, so the previous behavior is automatically applied to this region. With this new option to optimize open pockets when using the steep and shallow toolpath and power mill, you now have greater control and flexibility to machine the quality surface finishes you want and need.